in case you're curious thank you for joining me for another video and if you're new then welcome i apologize in advance my dog is over there eating so if you hear any chewing it's her um hopefully she doesn't act up in this video but this is part two of my product purge i'm moving and i just gotta get some things up out of here so the first part was the products i plan to give away and this one is kind of like the ones i've used so if people want them they can have them but if not i understand the kind of thing you feel me so first product is the ori essentials twisting butter i actually used this a lot when i first went natural that was well, not when i first went natural but probably back in 2018 i used this a lot um really liked it to get my hair really moisturized um clearly i liked it a good bit because there's really not even a braid out left of it so this honestly is more like an empty but it's got to go i'm not going to use it i can't use it there's not enough in here so yeah next is the design essentials almond and avocado nourishing co-wash i did a video on this um I was underwhelmed <laughs> link that above this y'all gotta watch it i just i did not enjoy this there's still a decent amount left and it's not at the expiration date so somebody may want this i will have to see next is the and the what the ancient egyptian anti-breakage and repair antidote oil cuticle control leave-in lotion from the main choice um this doesn't really have much left in here and i don't like how the packaging looks now it's old i've had it for a long time and i don't ever literally ever reach for this so it's time to go plus I, i'm pretty sure it's past the 12 month thing but i don't think the main choice has that 12 month rule on their products i could be wrong but yeah it's just not cute it's 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 sticky and i just don't really have a need or want to use it again so i'm getting rid of it <sighs> this exotic kool-aid minty guava and kiwi shampoo i wanted to like this so bad i feel like the girls and the guys on the youtubes love this shampoo and i hate it <laughs> i literally hate it i have a video using it i've used it multiple times hoping that maybe the next time i'll actually like it and it has not happened i don't want this anymore it needs to go and i don't have no moisture my hair is stripped i just don't it's gotta go it's gotta go next is the pantene gold series deep hydrating co-wash i use this i actually think this might be my second or third one of this um and i really haven't picked this up in years you can see it's old and um if you can see in the light i've used about right here i don't don't quite think this is making any cuts but i did like it when i was using it it's just that i have so much and i don't want this anymore <laughs> this hurts my heart y'all it's the sultanicals knot sauce coil detangler um it's old it's this is old i i don't know how old I'm so sorry, Mia is over there fighting her bed, if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty old. I don't know how old. It's definitely over a year. So, I mean, if somebody else wants it, they can have it. Um, I don't want to, I literally don't reach for this. And I don't know, it smells amazing though. Next is the Miel Rosemary Strengthen, Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo, um, infused with biotin and encourages growth. Um, I've used this a couple times it didn't wow me <laughs> i don't want to use it again and it's old like old old um don't want this anymore and i really don't remember i i didn't even use this in a video like i don't i don't want it along with that same line that shampoo i just talked about i have the oil and the strengthening hair mask i've tried both of them um they're just literally so old <laughs> and I mean there's like a decent amount in there this one kind of smells funny I don't I don't want to use this anymore it kind of smells funny to me and this <laughs> you know it didn't really tingle my scalp or anything exciting so I just decided to give her the whole line this pretty fizzies hair mask pineapple pineapple hair mask I did a video on this I will link that above or down below don't know many don't know how many cards i've used up but this gotta go um no moisture not really any slip it smells amazing it smells amazing but it did nothing for me um 
yeah and i don't know really what it's supposed to do it literally just has the ingredients and the directions it doesn't have any claims so i don't know if it was supposed to be strengthening or moisturizing i didn't like it next is the luster's pink shea Bo shea butter coconut oil uh co-wash cleansing conditioner i it's the same thing as that other co-wash from pantene i just i used it a good amount but I honestly realized I don't co-wash my hair that often anymore. So like I'm, I'm into shampoos now. I don't know who I am. I used to love a co-wash, but I don't really co-wash my hair that often. And so like the ones that I have now are the ones that I'm gonna stick with. And these old ones that I used to use, I don't have enough wigs to keep them all. So it's gotta go. That product is also super old. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. This might be the worst product of 2021 y'all will hear me mention this again at the end of the year when i do my worst products hated this everything about it absolutely freaking hated it uh did a video on it i will link that above no i don't even want to give this to anybody because i don't want anybody to have to experience what i experienced with this i have the shea moisture african black soap bamboo charcoal pre-shampoo scalp scrub this did nothing for me um i tried it once or twice and i just didn't like it <laughs> it didn't do what i thought it was gonna do it's like it's weird like it's a weird situation like it comes out of that little hole and then you have all these bristles it's just weird um too much work for me i'd rather just do a pre-poo than rather than this pre-poo but you know whatever um don't like it it's gonna go next is the main like me moisturizing hair pudding i remember really liking this um years ago um i actually used most of it mia is over here squeaking <laughs> i use most of this product like i probably have oh that's a weird angle i have like less than a third i would say left um oh this smells good it's just so old <laughs> This is so old and I'm never going to reach for this. Like, it is what it is. So I just I gotta let it go. Next I have, oh, these used to be my babies. The Miracle 9 Moisture Therapy Honey and Avocado Leave-In Conditioner and the Curling Cream. I did a video on these a while ago. I don't know if it was a year or two years ago, but I absolutely loved them. These used to be like the ones that I would test gels with to see like what wash and go I like the best. I really liked these products. Now that I think about it, but they're old, so I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, you know, see if people mind using old products and if they don't, they can have them. And if not, I'll have to throw them out because they are old and I'm never gonna pick them up again. If that's the worst part of being a product junkie, having to get rid of good products because you just aren't, you just aren't using them, you know? Next is the main choice is Prickly Pear Paradise Penetrating Strength and Superfood Infusion Apply to Dry Overnight Mask. This was okay. I literally don't reach for it. If, like, I just, if I want to pre-poo, I usually just use a regular conditioner or, like, a deep conditioner that has a lot of slip in it. And this, I just, this didn't really do anything for me. I think I tried multiple things from this line and I didn't like any of them, so... This has got to go. This was a weird line just overall from the main choice. It was a miss for me. Don't really like it. The smell was okay, but it wasn't what I wanted and it just got to go. It's also very old. <sighs> Next is the Wet Line Extreme. Y'all, this is so old. I have not used this in years. Um, uh, this one is like the one product that I'm like on the fence about because like this will get a sleek puff, but I don't really sleek my puffs anymore. I don't know. This might be the one product in this haul that I might keep. Mind your business. <laughs> but as of right now, I don't really use it. So it should go, but will I let it go is the question. Ooh, this one was a favorite back in the day. Well, not back in the day. I think back in 2019. <laughs> So this is the main choice is proceed with caution, killer curls and brutal bounce, look both ways, hair and edge gel. Um, I did a video using this whole line. 
I think almost the whole night. I know I didn't have the oil and I might and I had something else. But I it's a whole video and I'll link that above or below. Don't know how many I've used so far. Anywho, I recently opened this because I'm like, you know, maybe I should revisit this wash and go because it was bomb. It did give me flakes. It did give me flakes. But I just it was bomb. Um however, well that was a really loud and ratchet smack. I apologize. However, I used <laughs> I used all of the good gel up so like I, I literally was <laughs> I literally opened this to like you know see how much I had left to do a wash and go all the good gel is gone I hated the edge control it was way too sticky it was gross um so yeah this needs to go because the good gel is all done apparently is this a, is this an empty technically maybe so all right, the next product, y'all, is one that I did not expect to throw away. It actually is hurting my heart to throw it away, but yeah, I'll get into it. But this is the Sultanicals Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair of Plant Foods Mega Deep Conditioner. Um, I did a review on this, and I actually really liked it. It was giving me very much so strength and moisture balance, and you know I love that. So that's why it really hurts. Plus the Sultanicals, the Sultanicals, Sultanicals always got a place in my heart, okay? But this started to stink. <laughs> like, it stinks. Like, rancid kind of stinks. And I don't know what happened because when I first got it, it was smelling real good, smelling nice and not fruity, but like good. So I just, I don't know what's going on with this, but it's got to go. It stinks. Yo, I didn't even realize I literally had three Sultanicals products. So we're just going to talk about the last one. This one is the Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo. I can't. I really, I tried. I used it once, maybe twice. And it's a good butter shampoo. I cannot even take that away from it. But it just doesn't give me moisture that I wanted. It's literally super strengthening and I just... For some reason, I felt like a butter shampoo should be giving me a little bit of moisture. It didn't do that, and it stinks. Stinks. So, I just can't. I can't do it. <laughs> it's gotta go. I can't be in the shower with this product again. Another product that I'm getting rid of because it smells is the Honey's Handmade Just a Minute, just a conditioner. The Minute Deep Conditioners, I did a battle video with these. Um... This is the caster one. In that video, I mentioned it smells like paper. And I don't want, I don't want to use a product that smells like paper. I have way too many products that smell like mangoes and pomegranates and guava for me to be putting paper scented products in my hair. Plus the consistency is super, super running, runny. And I just don't like it. I mean, I do like how it performed in my hair, but I don't, I got other deep conditioners that perform well too and that don't smell weird. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So the next product is the Pink Lemonade and Coconut Super Antioxidant and Texture Beautifier Conditioner. Um, I'm getting rid of this because I use I use my conditioners either as a leave-in or as a pre-poo. And I use this as a pre-poo during Curly Mist 2020. I don't remember what day it was, but I'll link it somewhere. I'm pretty sure by now it had to be linked down below. Me is so rude. Um, I did not experience much slip and much moisture, which I'm pretty sure is literally the purpose of a conditioner. So it's gotta go. I'm surprised it's lasted this long, to be completely honest with you guys. <laughs> Next is the Miel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. The crazy thing is, is I've never used this. I've used this on maybe one or two of my friend's hair. I can't remember. I know for a fact my friend Azenwe used it. I can link her video above or below by now. But I don't know. I've had this for <laughs> probably over two years and I've never picked it up for my hair. So it's giving no. It's giving me no. I don't really like the smell of mint either. So I try to limit my minty products and I just, it's 
has got to go and i'm pretty sure it has the yeah it has a 12 month expiration date and it's been about 24 36 months so it's a no for me next is the frolicious natural shampoo bar i actually really really like this but i didn't um preserve it properly because i didn't really think about it like think to put it in like a sham not a shampoo but like a soap dish so unfortunately it's kind of like really dirty now and i don't know why i did this because now i'm upset i might just need to get another one or i think i'm i'm gonna go back on their website see what they got but like because i really like prolicious naturals and this really upset me because <laughs> like oh you know back when i tried this i didn't really th i just wasn't thinking so i didn't preserve it correctly and now it's dirty so now i have to throw it out but i really like the shampoo bar i did a video on this and i will link this somewhere Ooh, let's throw it back a little bit let's throw it back to the aussie three minute moist deep conditioner y'all this used to be my baby like when i say when i say i used to deep condition every wash day it was usually this and it was literally three minutes in the shower um i've grown so much and i'm just not i'm not here for for these products anymore they don't do for me what they used to do for me now that I have all the natural and real rich ingredients and things like that and the, the good oils. This ain't cutting it no more. And I thought, you know, I would use it as a pre-poo, but I already have enough deep conditioners that I use as pre-poos. <laughs> it's gotta go. It's old too. Super old. I don't know how old this is because I used to buy this like two at a time because I used to use them up, baby. Not anymore. The next two products are from that same um, Proceed With Caution line from The Main Choice. I have the the four-way conditioner and the shampoo. This four-way conditioner was super good. I actually absolutely loved this, but I use it a few times and then I use it for my wash and goes and I just, I don't know. It's not, I don't ever reach for it anymore. And I had it like placed in the back and I feel like even if it was like in the front of my products, I still wouldn't reach for it. So it just had to go. And this shampoo, I'm pretty, well, this one, I'm throwing this way because it separates. And I, I don't like when my products separate. Um, and I got rid of everything else. So I'm just like, just get rid of this too. And they're all super old. They're just so old. So I'm just like, they gotta go. My last two products are um well they're from different brands but the first one is the eco styler the gold one um had this for a long long time i tried it for um i think like a slick bun and it didn't slick my hair like the green one does so i'm like and i still got that green one because whenever i do a bun oh i'm gonna get rid of that wet line because i got the green eco style gel that i can slick my buns and stuff with anyway <laughs> just a just a thought that popped into my head but yeah this one and I use it for styling and I didn't really like that either. Plus, I don't really gel style unless I'm doing a wash and go. And this was not it for a wash and go. Let me tell you something, sis. Ambro, not it for the wash and go. For me, at least. Um, it's just gotta go. And I was so excited when it came out too because I'm like, oh, it's gold with sparkles. That shows you how long I've had. I got this when it was gold and sparkly and exciting years ago. And my last product is the main choices. Do it fro the culture, untouchable definition and unmatched volume, sophisticated sheen spray. So this, ew, what is that? This product, um, it smells really good. It smells like the rest of the line. It sprays out like a, you see that? So you have to like spray it into your hand and then rub it and then put it in your hair. And I mean, it, all it does for me is make my hair smell good and i got products for that already you feel me so mm -mm. wow that smells really good but yeah it's maybe it was like a mist and it was made for like making your hair smell good i would use it but i really don't find any use in it to be honest so unfortunately that also has to go so that concludes part two of my product purge. That's a lot of products that's got to go. But you know, some products are going to a new home. Hopefully that person, whoever gets them, loves them. Um, and some of these I might get to like friends. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a cousin to tell a cousin. 
follow me on instagram link is in the description box you can also find all of my coupon codes down there for all of your hair care needs um and your product junkie habits like me um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye